Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, ¿qué tal de lluvia por ahí? Um, good, because I no no raining. I a saw. little, mm -hmm. a little raining today. But what about early? Um, in the in the afternoon. Uh, yes, yes, in the afternoon. Right. Yeah, here too. It was raining. Well, it started raining almost. It was almost six when it started to rain, and it finished at almost seven. So about an hour raining. That. Right now it's not raining anymore. I think I think it will rain later. I think because there are a lot of uh, flashings, right? That at the moment. No. Okay. Vamos a ver. Uh, I'm going to start calling. And checking who are here. I see there are still many people absent, right? Let's see. Tell me. Present. Okay, 28th. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Carlos Josué. David Alexander. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. <coughs> Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. <coughs> Elmer Fabricio. Gema. Present teacher. <coughs> Jessica Lisset. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Alberto. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lizette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo Marcelo. Ana Grisel, <coughs> Carolina Abigail, Grace Michelle, Present Teacher, Rosa Hilda, Rosa Hilda, Luis Mauricio, Ok. Present teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Vamos a ver si ya llegaron algunos que no estaban. 
Eh, Ana Alicia. Carlos Josué. David. <coughs> Elmer Fabricio. Jessica Lisset. José Alfredo. José Alberto. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Luis. Ok, bueno. Ok, vaya, ya vemos un poquito más. José Alfredo, ¿dónde está? No micrófono, José Alfredo. Ok, bueno. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ana. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Remember, we had for today, we have an activity that we didn't finish today, eh, yesterday, right? So we're going to be listening to you before we enter to the activity we have today. Mm -hmm. And today we are going to be talking about manual. What are training manuals? What things do you include in a training manual? Yes. What things do you include or have to be include, included in a training manual? Okay. That's what we are going to be talking about today. <clears throat> oh. Okay, well, I'm going to share. <coughs> I know. Okay, Bye. I'm going to send you a and we'll move. I'm going to send you to discuss these questions. This is our class number 11, right? Check. Is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? And the other question, do you think this manual can be improved? And of course, don't only say yes or no, but say how, right? How? How can the manual be improved? What things can we add to it so it gets improved? Okay. Any questions here? Is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? I imagine the, that yes, right? And I imagine that you know it. So do you think this manual can be improved? If you say yes, tell me how. If you say no, hmm, explain why not, okay? The thing is that you have to mention something else. I'm going to send you right now in groups of uh, three, yeah, groups of three. So you go discuss the questions. There you go. Try to join a room. <coughs>
try to join. Jose Alfredo, Jessica, I sent you to a room already. Can you see the invitation? Okay. This uh, is set a manual with procedures in your workplace. No sé quién quiere empezar. In my case, uh, we don't have a, a manual with procedure specific. Uh, it's, it's very, so many uh, activities. I think because for for so many activities don't have a an, an manual. Okay. Yet. Mm -hmm. so why they don't have manual? Oh, ¿qué se hizo? They don't. I didn't have manual jet. Uh, in your case, uh, Lisa? Uh, in my work, um, yes, if there are uh, specific manuals for, uh, ¿cómo sería? Yo, perfiles, perfil, ¿cómo sería? Files. For five. Ajá. Creo yo. Pero, ah, profiles. Ajá. For profiles. Ajá. Eso. For the different profiles that work there. <coughs> o, o con perfil o with profiles, what do you want to say? Say. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuántos? Eh... I mean, the manuals eh, specify eh, the profiles in your work or what describe those manuals. Eh, bueno, es que en mi trabajo digamos que hay como perfiles o descriptores de puesto donde están los procedimientos. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ah, okay, entonces sería a little set workplace. There are a specific manual for the different profile that describes the, the charge. The charge, uh -huh. charge in the charge and the activities mm -hmm. for okay. uh, what what uh -huh. uh, what procedures do you have to follow in your work? Um, I... In my work, uh, the manual <laughs> Have mm -hmm. The manual have three procedement and And indications, o sea, tiene tres procedimientos, pero se desglosa en otras indicaciones. Procedures, try to say it in English. Procedures. Procedures.
Uh, it has three procedures and has other indications. Okay, and do you think this manual can be improved? Improve means Improve. is like mejorado? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. If you think it can be improved, you say, how can that be improved? Or if you say, no, why? Why do you think it doesn't need to be improved? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I think Do you think that this manual can be improved? Improve this a mejorarlo. Okay. Le iba a decir improvisar, pero no es así. That is improvise. Okay. In my case, I don't think so. <laughs> is because uh, there are um, rules and procedure exactly for uh, the developer and the, of the accounting area. Okay. Hi, I am alone. No, you're not alone. Diego Oscar is there and Anna, but I don't know why they don't they don't speak. Anna, 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 Oscar, Nubia, hello. Uh am I in my in my words? I have no no see a uh, manual. You haven't in seen my my teacher my, in my case we do not have a procedure manual you don't have manuals no 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 I, no we work we work uh, no manual a lo ranger <laughs> <laughs> so you know what to do right <laughs> okay no, where I work, we have the instructions for the contract. In the contract, you, you see the, the, the key. Like, oh, huh, all the things that you, that you have to do. And there is a man, right? Of rules, of rules of what to do and how to do things. Mm -hmm. Anna, what about you? We have a manual for students and another for for co for the employees. Uh -huh. And how can I no? What can I think that we can improve? Um, maybe I was thinking. Really, I was thinking. <laughs> But maybe, maybe, <clears throat> how can I say that we need to have a free time in our, in work time, because, for example, in Parvularia, we have kids the whole day. And if you want to go to the bathroom, and if you want to drink some water, and if you want to drink some coffee or take a rest or something, you don't have time, you don't have who help you to take care of the kids when you leave the classroom. Yeah. You do not have a break? Yes, we have a break, but in a break, we are with the kids too. 
Aha, so I think that one thing that I can, if I, if I have the opportunity that improve will be a little time free for teachers. A nanny to take. Yes, we have nannies, but you know that it's very difficult because one kid with the pencil just uh, up the, the arm and maybe puede yeah. puyar a un niño. So you need yeah, that. Chucha está molestando, Brian. You need that other co worker, another teacher that can control or manage the, the class, mm -hmm. stay there, not someone else who cannot control them. I don't know how to say it. Uh -huh. But then the manual should change on that way that the nanny should take some responsibility. And if she's a nanny, she should know how to manage the kids too, not just the teacher. Right. I mean, uh, in my, for example, 15 minutes free, another uh, teacher came to my classroom or uh, suplantarme o su, como se diría? Uh, como? Substitute. Aha. Uh -huh. Just for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. But it's a very difficult, I know. Yeah. You know, the best thing is that they have nannies for the break and teachers free. Ah. No, never in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, no, that's the good thing of working with high school. We do not have to, to watch them so close, right? Yes. Uh -huh. For example, to eat, <clears throat> we have lunch with the kids. So when you, you say, I am going to take my first vocal miss can you open this miss my se cayó miss help me please me so we decide to eat sandwich or or something like that because you cannot eat and what <laughs> what what is your schedule Anna? kids stay at school from 7 30 a.m to 2 30 p.m that's too long for little children. <laughs> Only prepa, K, K6, because they are preparing to first grade. But even that's too long because they, they are K, six years old, five, six? Yeah, six right? years old. Six years old. So that's too long time for a kid that is six years old. <laughs> but that's yeah. the way that they work. We have our children from seven to three, but they are teenagers. They are 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. But a child of six years old, that's too much time. And it's really that they need to be changing, right? So you can change another thing in the manual, the schedule. <laughs> the schedule, yeah. <laughs> that's another thing. Okay, great, great. Well, I'm living. Hi, hi, anybody here? Hello? Hello. Hello. Did you, did you finish? Yes. 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 Okay. okay, I will be leaving. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, teacher. Hi, teacher, aquí estamos. Discutiendo un caso. Ajá. Es que no sé por qué no arrancamos, teacher. Le digo ella que tendríamos que estar hablando en inglés y, y nos cuesta. <ríe> ¿Qué hacemos? Practicamos. <ríe> Le digo, esto es oportunidad para practicar, pero no me fluye nada en inglés. Todo es español en mi mente. No. So, bite your tongue every time you want. <ríe> Vaya, y si le entiendo a usted, teacher, pero ¿por qué no lo hablo? So you say, no, I don't have to speak Spanish. I would bite my tongue every time I want to speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah. 
sound like that, you will see your tongue will say, no, 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 I don't want to be bitten. Let's speak English. Uh-huh. Did you finish with the with the manual? Era la pregunta, pero... mm -hmm. Yes, the question. Yes, yes finish. uh, we finished. Okay, perfect. Let's go then. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move this because I don't want to lose the groups. No se fueron todos, Tichi. No. Vámonos, <laughs> pues. Vamos. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Come, come, come. We will listen to you in order, right? Room number one, then room number two, number three, number four, number five. 17 seconds, everybody will be here and then we will start. Group number one, I see. Group number one, Adriana, Edwin, and this. Yes. Who will? Adriana can share you. You want to share the screen? Okay, perfect. Well, in my case, in the workplace, uh, we don't have a manual. There are so many activities and that's the reason why we don't have manuals yet. Uh, the set workplace, there are specific manuals for the different profiles that describe the charts and the activity for the different profiles. At Adriana's workplace, there are different manuals that describe the different profiles that work in different areas and describe the activities that they there we go. Okay. And the second question, do you think this manual can be improved? Um, we think the manuals cannot be improved because you cannot improve about the activities the, that are needed in, to, uh, to execute. To execute in uh, different areas. Uh, a manual is very important. A manual is very important because it describes the processes and goals for different areas. Okay, so that means uh, that if you don't want to improve the manual, is because the manual has been elaborated very well. So yeah. instructions are clear, everything is clear, everybody knows what to do. Okay, so not necessarily to change. Okay, perfect. Um, what about number two? Gemma, Grace, and Karen, Janet. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, okay. In my case, I work in construction. So if, if you have to do a procedure on how to build something, you have to follow, um, not a manual, but a, a like a step. Okay. In my case. And... And I perdí la segunda pregunta. <laughs> the second question is, if do you think, do you think if that the manual has or can be improved? Uh, 
uh, well, uh, uh, the same in my case, I think I, it can be uh, improved or not improved, it's like change, como cambiado, the, the, the follow, the step. Okay, so it doesn't have to be improved, but changed totally. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my work, teacher, yeah. uh, there is a produce manual. And the second question, and it I, it can be improved only to add things that arise from new problems. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Grace. Thank you very much. And thank you, Gemma, right? A ver, group number three. Ana, Diego, Nubia, on Oscar. Who will share? Um, we were talking that they don't have a manual in their work. And we were talking about my work. And if I can be, if I can improve the manual, maybe will be a little time for, for a little break to help the employees uh, to take a little rest okay. and do their own things. Personal things, yeah. like 15 minutes, not much. A mini break. A mini break. Of course, everybody, everybody has the right to move, to go to the restroom, to go to drink water, right, or something. Or go for coffee from time to time. <laughs> okay. Yes. Only you have a manual, Anna. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> mm -hmm. In my case, I do not have a procedures manual. You don't have procedures manual. Um, but consider is necessary use the helmet, harness, glove, uh, glasses. Mask, industrial boots, and the safety area. In the safety area, there is a manual, I imagine, that tells you what to do, what not to do, what to keep safe. Perdón? I imagine that the safety manual tells you what to do, what not to do, how to keep safe, and all those things. What do, you say? what do you have in a safe manual? What does it include? In my case, we don't have a manual, but it provides the employees the harness, gloves, glasses. Mm -hmm. Despite not having manual, it provides the employees uh, all the necessary for the security. Definitely. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. That was group number three. Now, let's see, number four. No, that was, yeah. Elda, Jose Alfredo, and Rebecca.
Uh, we talk about the first question and in our case, we don't have a, a manual in our works. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, <coughs> she said that they have a procedures to use the software in 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 the work that they go um, but in general they don't use a manual okay so the procedures are there everybody knows the manual at work Everybody knows the manual? It, yeah, no. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now let's go to the last one. Karin, Stephanie, Carla, Lorena, and Rafael. Okay, in the first question, okay. Uh, in my world, there is no provision manual. The company has not made one. And the question. Uh, the best thing will be to make one according to the job. But my question is, if you don't have a money, how do you know what you have to do? No pattern. How do you because... know? Mm -hmm. yes. Cuando uno entra, le dicen lo que tiene que hacer. And if you don't remember? The practice. Pero un manual. Uh, yes. I am account. Uh -huh. So, repetitivo. Uh -huh. But for, for example, imagine. Um, I got a sick leave. What do I do with that? So you, it's not something that you usually do. You don't get sick every week. You don't get sick every month. You don't get a sick leave so often. But what do you do with that? If they tell you when you enter to work, but imagine you have been working in a place for 10, 15, 20 years. Will you remember after 20 years exactly what to do with a sick leave if you do not get sick very often? Pienso que no podría recordar. Ajá, that's why, in that case, if you don't have a manual, that would be like him I said, all the manual has to be replaced so fast, right? Because it's not good. But what happens in a company that is no manual? You cannot work with manual. Mm -hmm. Because it's like if I send you to work without instructions. Vaya, váyanse a los grupos a trabajar. What are we going to do? No sé, you already know. Because you have been here for six months. You know what to do. So it's the same, right? Right. We need to have manuals, right? We need to work with uh, instructions, clear instructions. So there are no, as you say, that's why uh, sometimes there are errors because of the lack of instructions. And those instructions have to be written and that's why the necessity of a manual. If the manual is written, so something that I can see every time I need, uh, that can help me for not making the same mistake once again, right? Because they can tell you, but you know, like, come on, I don't remember. 
But that happened to me in another place where I work with the sick leave and say, you had to bring it the first day and say, couldn't move, couldn't. Yeah, but it has to be here in the first three days. But I said, but you know that. And I said, I don't tell me how often do I get it? So I don't remember. There are some rules that have to be written, right? So you can know, you can remember. If not, you will forget. I get a sick leave every, well, my last time, the last time I was, uh, I got a sick leave was beginning of 2020. And the previous one had been in 2017 because of accidents, right? So I had no idea what to do, right? I don't know what exactly to do. Three years and three years, I, I, you don't remember. But if something is written, it's better to keep here, right? You read it and say like, oops, what do I have to do? You go check and say, ah, yeah, I know what. Right? So that's why it is very important. The next question. Would you improve it? Correcto. Todavía hay cosas que olvido y las de los No, no, but I did the best job. Mm -hmm, exactly. Would you, how would you improve that money? that you don't have? How? How can you improve that? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so uh, there is no manual. Aha, Rodrigo. Uh, just a quick question. I, I heard like one interference. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why, I don't know what, why. Is is it the sound or one on TV? I don't know. Yeah, it's a television. Okay. It's a television. Yeah. It's not my television. <laughs> no, no. I'm saying because I uh, uh, the computer I is hard to to hear. Yes. Uh huh. I, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a television. But uh -huh. remember that some of you live. In, in areas where it's not possible to keep total silence because the noise doesn't depend on you. I remember once I told a child, Be, tell your mother to, to down the volume of the television. And she said, means it's not in my house, it's my neighbor. I said like, oh, so we cannot go quiet. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, sometimes, unfortunately, that's, that's a situation where, that we live, right? that the neighbors okay. make noise and we cannot go tell the neighbor, que estoy en clase. <laughs> <laughs> we wish. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what page you are in the manual? We are on page 21. 21. 21. Yeah. 21. I remember okay. a couple of years ago, well, when we started with the pandemic and we started with classes like this, uh, a mother said, there is a bird, the teacher has a bird and the bird makes me a lot of noise and it is shouting. But the ones that knew my bird knew that it was so quiet, quiet, that it was sometimes on my table walking here, but the poor periquito was mute periquito. The only, the only time when it, make like a noise was when it heard another bird in another house uh, shouting. But if not, okay. it was totally quiet, totally, totally quiet. It was not like a normal periquito. But okay. what happened to the poor animal? That it came to a teacher's house in the time of the pandemic when we were teaching here. Okay. So it learned to be completely quiet, quiet, quiet at all, imagine. So even the animals get quiet, <laughs> yeah. But we cannot tell the neighbor to. 
Okay. It does. It's not in our hands, unfortunately. Okay, Baya, let's say, mm -hmm. let's move. Let's move, let's move. Remember, there we had something from yesterday. Yesterday, you were, you were writing a 10 line paragraph describing a process that you follow at your workplace, right? And I told you, remember to use transition expressions from the box, share your paragraph with the class and share, well, with a classmate first and then with the class. We only listen to Rodrigo, if I'm not mistaken, right? There was only one, well, Rodrigo and Luis, I guess, were the only ones that were able to share it. So I would like to hear a couple of volunteers before we continue with today's topic. One volunteer. I'm going, we're going to listen to three volunteers. A ver, raise your hands, my volunteers to cheer. No lo han perdido, verdad? We did it yesterday. Me, well, teacher. I think. Okay. Rosy, who will be my next volunteer? Another? Me, teacher. Rebecca, who will be my next volunteer? A ver, another name. Oscar, you can do it. <laughs> another name with R. <laughs> Rosy, Rebecca. A ver. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, who else, who else? Okay, vaya, para que hagamos parejos, two boys, two girls. Oscar. <laughs> no, Oscar was not here in class yesterday, right? Okay. Okay, vamos a ver, José Alberto is driving. José Alberto is driving, right? Yeah. Ah, <gasps> okay. No, 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 you cannot, you cannot read, definitely, no. Okay, <clears throat> let's listen to Lise Dayanara and Edwin, okay? Pacha, Pacha, Pacha. Let's begin with Rosie, go Rosie. Okay. First, missing products are checked. Then, orders are made to providers. Next, the product is received and inspected. After that, the invoice in is enters into the system. And finally, the invoice is paid and the product is distributed to the branches. Perfect. Thank you, thank you, Rosie. Now, Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca. Okay. Um, process for develop a software application. First, meet when the client to define the requirements. Next, design the architecture of the application to develop, and then estimate a development time. Next, start with development of the application, of the software application. After that, proceed with the functional test on the software application. Afterwards, make the user manual. And finally, train the customer and give the user manual. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Rebecca. Lisa Dayanara. <clears throat> There's a ribbon time I work. Second, and carry out admission procedure. Uh, washing, hand washing, uh, shoes, disinfection. Okay. Then I turn on my computer. Next, I uh, check my email and answer the miss 
urgente. Urgent. Urgent. After that, uh, verify uh, production y indicadores. Indicators. Indicators. Production. And share the data with um, manager. Um, manager. With the manager. Okay. Manager. Net, net uh, check a meeting for the day. Last, uh, giving a tour of the production plant. And finally, uh, follow up um, pending is the asuntos, asuntos pendientes. Pending things. Pending, eso. Okay. Eso. Hey, great. Thank you, Lisette. Edwin, your turn. Uh, sorry, teacher. This is for the class of yesterday. Yeah. I don't make this. But you can describe the process you have to follow in your workplace, right? What do you have? Well, first I sign the items and then take my temperature. Uh, after that, I uh, write the report the day previous and check the, the previous, emails, day? Mm -hmm. previous day and check the emails and check uh, the correspondence or the mail uh, that's the that's basically see okay Great. Thank you. Thank you, Edwin. If I have an extra volunteer, no more? You're very shy. <laughs> yes, Nubia. Tell me, Nubia. First, meeting with the boss to organize the, the day's activities. Mm -hmm. Take on, check the email, then answer the emails. After that, call the client. Later, visit the client. Next, supervise employees who do the job well, and that those who install the signs do it well. Finally, when I finish work, I go to. Okay. Very good. Excellent, Lumia. Thank you very much. Okay. Any questions here at this moment? Questions, comments? No. Nope. Now, let's go to the conversation. Check. Um, we will have this other uh, point of would be would it be better? It would be better to. And here in the in the assignment that you have to complete for today, we have this part. That would it be better if I finish the homework tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, that's what you will tell me. Would it be better if I do the homework on the weekend instead of doing it today? Yeah, I'm saying no, it wouldn't be better, right? Okay. Check. Wouldn't it be better? It would be better. So you can say, would it be would it be better or wouldn't it be better? Remember the ending wouldn't, the ending of the would is the iria, right? When you say iria, you add that iria to the verb that you're using. And when you say, I would like, me gustaría. Right, but if you say wouldn't it be the, wouldn't it be better? No sería. Right, that the translation you're giving to it. No sería mejor. Yeah, and then you continue with the rest of the question. And in the answer, it would be better. And check that we have the phrase. If, yeah. It would be better if 
we change the whole uh, manual, right? It would be better if we change the whole manual because this one is not good. It would be better if we rewrite some items. Yeah. It would be better if we can dress not so formal on Friday. Yeah. So this uh, you use would it or wouldn't to give some suggestions. How how do you give suggestions in this case? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Would it be better? Podría ser mejor. Uh -huh. Sería, right? Eh, para que dijera podría, tendríamos que poner could. But in this case, we have only sería. And we are using it to give strong advice or to give suggestion, yeah? It would be better to, it would be better to start classes at seven and finish at nine. It would be better to do the homework every day, see? That's advice. I don't say an advice because the word advice is uncountable, right? But it's a piece of advice. Advice. It would be better, it would be better to, so check that we can say, it would be better to, it would be better to, um, to read. More. It would be better to go to bed at 11 instead of at 12. Yeah. It would be better to go to bed early and get up early. See? So you can use it would be better to. Or it would be better if. So that's the other case, right? So you use the subject would be better, sería mejor. And then you can use an infinitive. Or subject would be better. And then if. Yeah. If you say it would be better if we drink tea instead of coffee. I'm drinking tea instead of coffee today. Yeah. It would be better if. We and checking. If you use uh, the infinitive, eh, pasado mañana lo vamos a ver más en detalle, esta estructura. Eh, if you use to, you say it would be better to and a verb in infinitive. It would be better to study English every day. It would be better if we studied. English every day. And if you pay attention to the structure, you can, you can use this in present, um, but you can also use it in past as you're giving a suggestion. Teacher. Uh huh. In the structure, the structure, would, would it be better if? We always have to write if then the the structure, but then uh, in the second in the second example, say a noun. In the first example, what is this? Este este es un subject. Sería bueno. Ajá. You have the subject and the verb. And the same here, we have the subject and the verb. Ah, uh, chapter one is like it. Ah. Uh, yes. 
that chapter one is, right? Okay, we will read the conversation. Would be better. Uh, for example, imagine if I if I give you I'd I'd rather, right? Uh, lo usan con la abbreviation. Pero would be better, como va con el be, no usa contraction. ¿Sí? You use it in the complete form. Would be better. It would be better if I work in a computer instead of a cell phone. It would be better, but check. If you say if I, if we, if he, right? It would be better if, if se ocupa el if, tiene que usar un subject. But if you want to use, uh, for example, if you want to use to, it would be better to. See? It would be better to. It would be better to go to bed early. It would be better if I go to bed early. What would be better? It would be better if I go to bed early. Generalmente, y, y aquí en la conversation, está como is, ¿verdad? Pero esta estructura se ocupa mejor con el verbo en pasado. ¿Por qué en pasado? Because you're making a suggestion que no es real. So, it would be better if we included. Sería mejor que incluyéramos. ¿Sí? Que si no me estaría diciendo es mejor que incluyamos. ¿Sí? But as a suggestion, the structure is would be better and the verb in in past. Yeah? Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Rodrigo. Okay, it would be better. It would I'm, I'm going to read to you a couple of sentences. Maybe it would be better if she wasn't here. Sería mejor que ella no estuviera aquí, right? No digo sería mejor que no esté. Sería por el iría, ya, sería mejor que no estuviera. Ya. It would be better if someone knew the answer. It would be better if someone knew the answer. Sería mejor que alguien supiera. Pero alguien sabe la respuesta? No. It would be better if we could change. ¿Podemos cambiar? No. It would be better if we could change. Sería mejor si pudiéramos. Right? So that's, that's the structure. And that's why I tell you the verb here should be was. And the same here included. And you say, wouldn't it be better if chapter one was about servers, how servers should greet the customers? No sería mejor. ¿Sí? No sería. Si no, para que aquí sea present, tendría que ser no es mejor. ¿Right? No sería mejor que el capítulo uno fuera el capítulo uno sea. I don't know if you catch the idea here. Yeah? Wouldn't it be better if chapter one was about how servers should greet the customers and after that how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we included the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Sería mejor que incluyéramos. Yeah? But you, if you leave it in present, it will be like, sería mejor que incluyamos. Mm -hmm. Any questions? 
uh, uh, miss yes. Mrs. Yes. this is just uh for it would be better just a suggestion isn't it it's for giving suggestions it, it would be better it would be better take uh, take a coffee and it and, would be better to uh, it would be better to but check <clears throat> Yeah, just, it could be better if. Siempre ponemos. Sí, ahí depende. You can say it would be better if or it would be better to. Okay. So if it is a, a manual, <clears throat> the one that you're doing in this case, Usted quiere que suene así como un poquito más polite, tendría que usarlo en pasado. ¿Verdad? But remember, we're talking about the strong advice or a strong suggestion. ¿Sí? ¿Sería mejor que incluyamos o sería mejor que incluyéramos? Cuando usted dice que incluyéramos, eso suena más a sugerencia sutil. Mira, no sería mejor que incluyéramos tal cosa, right? So it's, it's more sutil than if you say it would be better that we include. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that the, the advice becomes stronger <clears throat> if you leave it in present, right? So <laughs> what type of advice, what type of suggestion do you want to do? Eh, es, como que, es, es como quien dice, no sería bueno. In español, no sería bueno. In this case, yes. Y no sería. Eh, it wouldn't, wouldn't be better if the charter is about how the service should read. Mm -hmm. sí. If you leave it in person, that would be. Y no sería mejor que sí, ¿verdad? Because you have sí. Y no sería mejor si el capítulo uno es sobre tal cosa. But if you use the past, y no sería mejor que el capítulo uno fuera sobre tal cosa. So it depends how you want to give the suggestion. Right? El que más se acostumbra o que más se ocuparía es con esta estructura, past. Yo me inclino más por past. ¿Ya? Yeah? And in the manual later, you will see that they use the, the, the structure with past, right? They use it in present if you are using to. It would be better to. See? It would be better to, and then you use the infinitive. It would be better to include these instructions in the first chapter. It would be better to include the dress code in the first chapter. But but if if we did, if we say uh, it would be better, we have to uh, say always if if no. You can say it would be better if we, and then the verb, or it would be better to. So you it, would be to... it would be better to, it would be better, it would be better to, y no me meto mucho en el tema porque ese es otro lesson de pasado mañana, mm -hmm. mañana vamos con puro vocabulary. It would be better, it would be better to, podemos usar también eso. It would be better to, <coughs> No hemos pasado lista, ¿verdad? No. But it would be better to, and the verb in present. It would be better to include. Allí sí, present. It would be better to include the server's dress code in an appearance in the first chapter. Wouldn't it be better to greet the customers and after tell them how they need to present the menu. Aquí sí tendríamos que mover un montón de cosas. 
But yeah. you can also yeah. say, wouldn't yeah. it be better? Wouldn't it be better to teach servers how they should greet the customers and after how they need to present the menu? But you can use to, si ocupa tu, no ocupa if. Okay. Yeah. Or if. Mm -hmm. or so if. Just a quick question. If you say this is in present, it will be better. It will be in future. How it is? Uh, no. Don't make suggestions. Okay. So when you make a suggestion, this type. The ah, when the moment when you. Do as you okay. because you're making a suggestion, you're not talking about future. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. uh, things that I happen, yeah. For example, instead yeah, of things that happen, in, by, instead of telling you, you should include the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter, right? Instead of telling you, you should, it's como. Mira, y no sería mejor que lo incluyera en el primer capítulo. So, you're making a strong suggestion que no suena tan strong because it's, it's very, it's so polite that the people will not think that you're telling them exactly what to do. Yeah, it's like those okay. types of suggestions that you give to someone that you make them think that it was their idea at the end, right? But you gave the suggestion, but you planted the idea in their minds so that at the end, they come to think that it was their idea, not yours, right? Because you didn't tell them, you should do this, or hey, you ought to do this. Uh -huh. But you because, say, uh -huh. wouldn't, wouldn't it be better to, and they say, like, yeah, that's true. I was thinking about that, but that's not really, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, I was thinking about including the server's dress code in the, in the first chapter. Mm -hmm. And at the end, they believe that it was their idea, but because of the way you are presenting the suggestion. Yeah. I don't know if you have any other question here so far. For example, if you say, no sería, uh, o sería mejor que lo hicieras mañana. Wouldn't it be better that you did it tomorrow? Wouldn't, because, the, because of this, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better if you did it, if you do, do is your subject, right? If you did it tomorrow. Pasado. Ajá, exacto. Que lo hicieras, porque usted dice, sería mejor que lo hicieras mañana. Y bien loco porque es pasado y está diciendo algo en el futuro. Sí, pero así se ocupa. Fíjese que nosotros, eh, imagine that I tell you, eh, vaya Ana, please wash the dishes. And you say, ay no, mami, it is very cool. Wouldn't it be better if I washed them tomorrow no sería mejor que los lavara mañana right that's 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 Teacher, the, if you want to if you want to use to how in present wouldn't it be better to ah, okay, wash okay. them tomorrow to plus infinity like here right to infinity It would be better to wash them tomorrow. Será mejor que lo lave. Sería mejor que lo lave mañana, right? It's very cold right now. It's starting to rain again. Yeah? So you can make it as a question. Would it need to be better to wash them tomorrow? It, it's not like saying, no quiero hacerlo mejor que lo hago mañana. Right, but you're telling 
no sería mejor. Right? So uh, what you can what you can get when you make a suggestion this way is like yeah, it's okay, do it tomorrow. Right? But this is remember, we use would it be better to talk about the strong suggestions. We're making suggestions here. <laughs> yes, Oscar, it would be better to include coffee. You need the two here. It would be better to include coffee. Yes, or tea. You can include your coffee, no problem, right? Okay. Well, let's go to check the attendance and then we continue. Uy, se nos fue el rato. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Eh, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Okay, Marcelo, si sí, Marcela es aquí. Adriana, Marcela. Ana. Present, Present teacher. teacher. Carlos Josué. Carlos Josué no está. David. David, David. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Elda, Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. <laughs> Gemma Carolina. Uy, qué Present teacher. Jessica. Present teacher. Tengo frío, fíjense. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Hello, Miss. Uh, hello, Miss. Hi. Uh, I have to go to the. Uh, uh, tengo que ir a, a ver algo de mantenimiento. Uh, ya vengo. Vaya, Rodrigo. José Alberto, José Alberto, José Alberto. No ha llegado todavía José Alberto. Todavía no llega. Bueno, que la ley. Todavía voy en segundo, voy casi llegando a Guachapán. Ok, ok, ok. That's a long trip from the airport to a Huachapan. Wow. Karen Janet. Karencita. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisette Ayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar Novicio. Present Rebeca. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Rodrigo ahí está. <coughs> eh, Ana Cristel. Anana. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Luis Mauricio. Ok, bueno, pues. Sí, teacher, present. Oscar. Sí. Oscar, Oscar, ¿dónde andaba Oscar? No, aquí estaba. Aquí como está lloviendo fuerte, no se escucha. Oh, sí, me imagino. Ah, macho. We are uh, in a... In a In a, ¿Cómo se llama? In a weather that is very crispy because sometimes they call and then it's hot. Well, during the day, it was very hot, but now it's raining. Yeah. Vaya. Any questions? Any questions? No questions. No teacher. No questions. No questions. No teacher. Okay. 
I'm going to send. I'm going to send you to the rooms. We're going to practice the conversation. And vamos a ver. We share the conversation again. Okay. Repeat after me. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? We need to create a main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. First, first service 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 wouldn't it be better if chapter one was about how servers should greet the customers? And after that, how they need to present the menu? And after that, that how they need to present the menu. the menu? Actually, it would be better if we included the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, one more time. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? We need, we to, need to create, create the main steps step to include to in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. First, 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 need to know the menu. The menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one was about how service should greet the customers? And after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we included the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Actually, it would be better if we included the service chapter. Okay, great, great. Well, now, what are you going to do in the rooms? This time, you will go to the rooms, practice the conversation with a partner, and then after you have practiced the conversation, you will create your own conversation. Yes? yes. And here you will include, for example, in this part, and in this part, right? You will be including your ideas that you wrote before about the manual to train the staff, remember? Remember, you can change whatever because here uh, it says we need to create the main steps to include in the manual training uh, to train our staff. But it would be okay if we will begin with that. But then this is related to restaurant, and you don't work in a restaurant, you work in a hotel, you work in a store, you work in different places. And of course, the activities that you do are totally different. So you have the right to change everything. No me vaya a parecer con menos if you don't work in a restaurant, right? So make all the necessary changes in the conversation so it sounds like your workplace, see? If you don't work in a, in a restaurant, you cannot tell me about menus. You cannot tell me about the server's dress code, right? So you change and put the information according to your workplace, even if you do not have a manual in your workplace. But what things you think or you consider should be included in that manual? 
I don't know if that's clear for you. Yes. Yes, it is, teacher. Okay, perfect. I'm going to send you in pairs. The only person who's right now driving is Jose Alberto. The others are at home, right? Is that correct? Correct, 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 correct. The teacher, right, I'm with you. Okay, so I'm going to send you um we're going to make eight groups there will be two groups of three mm -hmm. and one group and the others will be completely pairs let me see There you go. Ready. Ready, ready. Yay. Ah. <laughs> Miren, hoy me tienen contestándome a mí sola. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Vaya, there you go. Join. Join, join. Join a room. Go ahead. Grace, Rodrigo, Carla, Diego, try to join. Diego, Diego, Diego. Ahorita, ahorita. Rodrigo. I'm Sara and you are Walter, right? Okay. Okay. We need to create uh, the main step to the including the manual to train our, our staff. What do you propose? Beers. Server. New to. New to. No. New to. Grown. The correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it, would it better uh, if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be, it would be better is really included in the service, dress, coat, um, after, Appraiser in the field. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it will be better if we include the servers that cause an appearance in the first chapter. Chapter. Okay. 
Now you start. Okay. We need to create the main steps. So include in the manual to train or stuff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know to the correct way to press in the menu. Well, then it'd be better if chapter one is about how servers should grade the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the server dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hello, tell me. I don't know if Grace have a problem with she the didn't connection. I saw her, I saw her coming, but Grace, hello. Quizás se nos ha jugado por allí. Grace, Grace, Grace. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Shall I try go a Carla? Okay, thank you. This is room que número three. Hola. Hi, Hello. 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 De por allá porque él está sola. Elda, Elda. Yes. Teacher, pero Rosy se quedó sola porque no estaba. ¿Y Karen no, Janet? No está Karen Janet. No. Solo ella y yo estamos practicando. Ándale. Vamos, me voy a llevar a esta otra niña para allá. No sé, a ver. No hable mucho para que no se, no se esfuerce. Okay. Practicamos, Lisette. Hola, sí. Bueno. We need to create the main strip to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to press in the menu. Wouldn't it be better if Sharper One is about how server should grade and customer? And after that, how they need to press in the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay. Ahora usted sabe. Okay. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Fair. Server need to know the correct way to press in the menu. Would it be better if chapter one is about how service show greet the customer and after that how they need to press in the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server address, call and appearance in the first chapter. Y después, ¿qué vamos a hacer? No me acuerdo. No, 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 no. You no, have no. to create a conversation. Ah, different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make changes. Ok. ¿Tienen para compartir Word o algo? No.
ahí no podemos ir cambiando. Hablando y con el micrófono apagado. Hola. Y yo pensé que como me está dando mensaje del internet, dije, se me fue la señal. <risa> Pero cuando se, cuando se queda así, comienzo así para ver si, si me muevo, porque no, no hay problema. <risa> ok. Ay, piche. Crear no se me da. Come on. Ok. You can do it. ¿Qué necesitamos? We need to Sí, porque ahí está hablando del manual, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre está hablando del El manual. Nosotros le podemos cambiar. Yeah, because you're adapting it to the place where you work. Okay. Mm. Try. No se me ocurre. Think about by you were writing some things that you do in your workplace before. Use those same ideas. Mm -hmm. Podría ser algo como cómo capacitar a un vendedor nuevo o algo así. Ya. Yeah. Adapt, adapt it to what you do in your workplace. Entonces, eres como capacitar a nuevos empleados. Uh -huh. O include in the manual to train a new employees. Así se escribe. Hola. Vaya, eh, ahí está. Peers de administer medications. Uh -huh. To know the Correct. Creo que hasta ahí. Mm -hmm. Fears. Administer the medication. Administer medication. Need to know the correct. And the next, Sonia Saiz. No sé si lo puede escribir en el, en el chat. Sí. Mm -hmm. Sí. 
¿Qué se va a proponer como los pasos para, para poner una inyección? Sí. Okay, ahorita se lo se lo pego ok ya yeah. al, al traducirlo tira um, diferente la, la oración yo la, 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 la decía diferente uh -huh. To... But don't put it in the Google Translator. It will give you problem no. definitely, right? Okay, and then again, person one. Mm. <laughs> The, the Sonia size will not it be better if chapter one is about no server show grade the customers and after that how they need the present menu. Uh, mm -hmm. I think change to the and after that uh, to know how to administer a medication or prepare the, the medication. Okay, uh -huh. but we have to use wouldn't it be better? Uh -huh. I, I, first, wouldn't. Better. Uh, chapter one is about uh, I think we, we need to change how servers or no. Eh, bueno, para mí lo voy a decir en español porque no lo puedo decir en inglés. Pero para mí estaba bien así ¿Mm? porque también en la farmacia tenemos que saber cómo atender a los clientes. Eso ser amable uh -huh. y todo eso es parte de, del inicio de cómo tratar al cliente, entonces sino que esa parte visitando el lugar. Un especial moment. Moment. Sí. Es posible que 
long because when you receive the customer and Preguntar cómo se dice. Eh, ask, ask, make a question. Ask, ask, ask a question. Boxes need to know the correct way to receive the customer. To ask if a special chance, chance and arrange them according to the group of people. Creo que sería la forma correcta recibir a los clientes y preguntar si es una ocasión. No, como que estaba embarazada, tenía náuseas, mareos. Hi, teacher. We finished, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. Teacher, uh, you said that we have to use in past when we use uh, wouldn't it be better, right? Yeah. So if, it's a, it's if you okay. Use, wouldn't it be better if we gave him the manual for mm -hmm. him to study it? Him for to him, study. For him to study it. Okay. Hace falta el to. Ahí en. Mm -hmm. For him to. Mm -hmm. And the and the next uh, the next one. It is a good idea. It is a good idea. Uh, it would be better. Póngale el it y it, póngale la w en en lowercase letter. It would be better if we showed him the workplace. That would be a great compliment. Uh -huh, perfect. Okay. You can also use it is a good idea as a suggestion, you know. You can say it is a good idea to show him the workplace. Uh, yeah. But we think it, it will be like as the answer for the yes, perfect. previous. Uh -huh. Okay. To show him the We leave it, we leave it exactly as C or we change it. No, no, it's perfect. I'm just telling you that the other one is a good way also okay. because you will find it in the homework. Okay. okay. Teacher, do you know how can we take the take out the red lines? Ah, the thing is that your keyboard is in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Ah. That's why if your keyboard is in Spanish, when you write in English, it will it will point it at like a mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. Yes, I'm so go una por una I, get le vaya. Uh -huh. I get crazy about that too. <laughs> I don't oh, like it. Yeah, when I'm when I'm writing a, a something I, and I start editing. And later on, it appears the same way. So it doesn't matter how many times you eliminate the red one. Ah, I go like that. Omit, 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 omit. And I'm um, five minutes later, it is the same way. So, en serio? ¿Sí? Ah, pues no. Así es que no. But you know that it appears like that, no, because you have a mistake, but because your keyboard is in Spanish. Oh, thank you. Bueno, I think everybody finishes. Si no, pues vámonos ya. What? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you.
coming. Coming, coming, coming. I want to hear a couple of volunteers. Do you want to start, Adriana? Great. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, we need to give an induction to the new co-worker. What do you propose? First, we need to describe the profile activities that he has to develop. Develop, develop. I keep an element that he develop. has to develop. Yeah, that he has to develop. <sighs> Sorry. Develop. Y la P. Ajá, hasta ahí. T. No, that's at the Without. TV. Yeah, that's great. <sighs> okay. I wouldn't it be better if we gave him the manual for him to study? It's a good idea. It would be better if we showed him the workplace. That will be a great compliment. That sounds great. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Who will be my next volunteers? Diego Oscar Rodrigo. <laughs> Diego Oscar. And... Ok. Estuve también con Rodrigo y con yes. el otro compañero. Diego. Diego. Yes. Diego. Hello. Okay. I see Rodrigo. Is Teacher, Está. excuse me. Tell me. One of our classmates is asking if you can add it to the conference. Ah, sí, eso era cuando estaban los grupos chiquitos que Rodrigo había ido a hacer algo. Entonces, cuando los mandé a los grupos chiquitos, no se logró unir en ese momento. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. Estuve con, con Rodrigo, estoy. Con Rodrigo, Oscar, and Diego. Vaya, go ahead. Y Diego. Thank you. Ok. Anna. Ok. We need to, to crest it to my still to include in the manual to try or stop what do what do you propose propose what do you propose propose, propose. Uh, yeah. what, what do you propose is uh, walter uh, first service need to know the correct way to present the menu sonia sonia Good, could you no good in the paper if chapter or one the would be better? Would be, be better. better. Oscar, would it be better? Will be, would, would it be, be would it be better? Yeah. Will it be, be better? Is chapter one is offer or service sure Green the customer is after they hold the new name in the present the menu. Mm -hmm. uh, Rene, actually, it would be better if we include the service dress code, the appearance in the first chapter. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank Gracias. you. Now let's see the next room is number two, Edwin and Jose Alfredo. Go ahead. Okay, Edwin, puede compartir pantalla. Edwin, Edwin. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I'm start. Well, okay. okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, we need to create the main set to include. 
include in the manual to train our staff? What do you propose? First, hostess need to know the correct way to receive the customer. Ask them if a special chance and arrange them according to the group of people. Well, then it'd be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, after that how they need to present the menu. Actually, it will be better if we include the special promotions in the second chapter. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Edwin and Jose Alfredo. Then let's listen to Elda and Carla. No sé si al fin Grace les trabajó. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Go. Carla, who begins? We need to create the menu steps to include. Uh, first, you need to know how to administer a medication. Wouldn't be, wouldn't. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customer and after how they need to prepare the medication? Actually, it would be better to train staff before um, administering the medication. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Al final, que no los saludan, pero que le administren bien la medicina. <laughs> <laughs> okay, vamos a ver Gemma and Rebecca. Tenía frío, ya tengo calor. <laughs> A big change in the weather, my goodness. A ver, Gemma and Rebecca, here, no here. Yes, miss. Solo okay. que... No sé si Rebeca puede compartir. I guess. Ahí está. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Um, Empieza este Rebeca. Ok. We need to create the main staff to include in the manual to train over staff. What do you propose? First, the staff need to order in the counter the press the present the product. Could it be better if when receive the product in the store, the staff can put the price on the products or order to sell it? Actually, it would be better if the store include delivery service and web page sell the products fast and easy for clients. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, very good. And then we go to number you were six, seven. Karen Stephanie and Nubia. Teacher um I <laughs> I I okay. I have a confused in the in the work. ¿Qué les pasó? Um, nos equivocamos porque lo único que hicimos fue poner como en orden la la última parte de, del manual. Ah, y eso todavía no. Eso es de mañana. Lo único que tenemos para mañana. <laughs> Ya, pero, pero se lo podríamos presentar mañana. Sí, claro, claro. De todas maneras, me van a quedar ustedes y el grupo 8 para mañana. Okay. Two groups. Ok, at the beginning, you will start. Let's go to the last attendance, Adriana, Marcela. Oh. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Josué. 
David, Diego, present. Edwin Mauricio, present teacher, Hilda Cristina, present teacher, Elmer Fabricio, Emma, present teacher, Jessica, por ahí estaba Jessica, ¿verdad? José Alfredo. Present teacher. Hoy se queda conmigo José Alfredo. Ok. José Alberto. José Alberto. Karen. Eh, Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Ando para el Present teacher. La oigo ronquita, Karen Janet. Todavía no se termina de recuperar. Tecito. Tecito, tecito. Lisa Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Oscar. Teacher, no me mencionó a mí. ¿A quién? Carla Lorena. Ay, no le creo. No. Después de Karen y Stephanie, Carla Lorena. Uh -huh. Ok. Present. Mm -hmm. Present teacher. ¿Quién? Yo, Mauricio, Oscar. A usted ya rato lo llamé o no. Ah, ah, present. No, no, ya voy llegando, es que voy retrocedí, retrocedí. ya llegó Oscar. Ok. <ríe> eh, Nubia. Oscar. Present. Rebeca Marcela. Present. Rodrigo. Present, present. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace. Rosa Hilda. Present. Okay. Pacha. Hoy sí estamos completos. Well, see you tomorrow. A dormir. Ya. Yeah. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. 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 Vaya, tell me, do you have any comments, questions? Any questions? Mm -hmm. Not exactly about the... Uh, sobre la semana anterior. Uh, uh -huh. um, about what topic do you have question? Um, quizás a veces me surgen las dudas, pero igual la voy resolviendo en el camino. Uh -huh. Eh, la es que ya estoy llegando a este punto en el que no conocía nada y tengo que poner más atención. ¿De cuál, de cuál tema, este, José Alfredo? Es el uso de show, goal, uh, y todo esto de los procesos. No, no sé nada. José Sims. Vaya, pues, uh -huh. posesivos como para decir su, o su, o su de él, su de ella. Más o menos, sí. Vaya, in that case, in Spanish, even we may have confusions, right? Because if somebody tells you, vi a su hermana con su esposa, con su esposo, perdón. Vi a su hermano con su esposa, o sea, mi hermano con mi esposa, right? Because you can get confused, but if you say, I saw your brother, that's your brother, with his wife. Then you see, the possession makes a difference. Whose wife? My wife, you will say, or my brother's wife? Yes. In Spanish, you can get confused and you say, vio a mi hermano con mi esposa. Hmm. O vio a mi hermano con su esposa. 
right? Because in Spanish, su and su is the same, but in English, there is a big difference. Because you have, if you're talking about boys, his, for girls, hair, right? But if you're talking to somebody directly, you say your, your brother, your wife, or your brother, his wife. Her name, right? So we, there, is a, there is a difference between possessions, right? That's related to possessions. And for example, if you're going to talk about plural possessions, their, their is the possession for a group of people, right? Their names are Ana and Pedro, yeah? Their names. What is their names? ¿Cuál es el nombre de ellos? O cuáles son sus, right? In Spanish, we we'll say sus nombres. But in English, you say their names. That's the the uh -huh, the possession. Uh, what do you want to know about could and should? The use. Sí, hay momentos en los que me confundo cuando me estoy traduciendo en ejemplo me confundo. Pero don't translate. Right? Uh -huh. If you understand that topic, try not to translate because sometimes uh, the translation makes you confused. But <clears throat> another situation is, for example, that could, could is, a, is a modal verb that can be used for possibility, for ability, and also to make a polite request. For example, if I tell you, could you pass me the salt? That is a request, right? Could you pass me the salt? Could you give me a glass of water? Could you open the door for me? That is a request. Uh -huh, exactly, exactly. If you want to be very polite, you make a request in a polite way. And for that, you use could. Could you pass me the salt? Could you open the door for me? Instead of saying, can you open the door? If it is your brother, you say, hey, can you open the door for me? Right? But if, uh, if that is a request that to be formal when you use can. But if you want to be more formal, you use could o would would you open abrirías remember the the would it's the ending iría abrirías la puerta para mí could you, would you in that case it would be would would you open the door for me see so in that case you are using would also to make a request yeah would you, you use also would for making an offer? Would you like a glass of water? Would you like something to it? Yeah. Would you? So when you want to make an offer or a request, you can use would. And the same, it's very polite, right? Would you open the door for me? Would you pass me this? Me pasarías la sal? El otro could is, podrías pasarme, right? But if you use would, it's like, me pasarías, me ayudarías, right? That's the ending, iría. No es me ayudas, like when you use can. Me ayudarías, me abrirías la puerta, cerrarías la ventana por mí. Would you close the window for me? Yeah. So that is extremely polite. And if you want to be still more polite, you will say, would you mind? Te importaría, <laughs> right? Would you mind opening the door for me? Te importaría abrir la puerta para mí? So that is even uh, more formal and more polite, right? Sí, para ocasiones especiales. 
Exactly, exactly. But if you're talking with your friends, problem you can use can. Can you open the door, please? <laughs> can you pass me the salt? Uh huh. That's a request, but it doesn't need to be uh, so formal, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if, if that is clear for you, and if you have any other question. No, more clear. Okay. Ya con ese ejemplo todavía más y con la plataforma pues no he tenido problema. Ok. Que, que me retrasó unos dos días, eh, entré y me parece bastante bien. Todo está ahí y voy al día. Ok, perfecto. Ahora hasta el 2.8. Sí, hoy llegamos hasta la tarea 2. Punto, ya le digo. Quiero ver. Dos punto ocho. No. ¿Qué clase? Sí, sí. Dos punto ocho. Exacto. Dos punto ocho. Y esa ya está en la dos punto once. O ya terminó la dos punto ocho. No, hasta la dos punto ocho llegada. Ah, perfecto. Perfecto. Está bien. Sí, porque ya la 2.11 es de lo que vimos parte hoy, lo que veamos mañana y lo que terminemos de ver del punto gramatical pasado mañana. Uh -huh. De eso, de eso viene la, la clase esta, la, la, la tarea próxima, la 2.11. O sea que por ahorita está bien, hasta ahí hasta la 2.8, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Okay, perfect. José Alfredo, see you tomorrow then. Have a good night. See you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.